Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Still trying to figure out camera locations uh, and I was not successful in my one quick little attempt. So I will figure it out. It's just not going to be today. Uh, so today you get this one, which is eh, okay. You don't get to see as much of my new bookshelves as I really want to show you, but I will figure it out and fairly soon. I promise. Well, hi, <laughs> welcome. First of all, uh, thanks for stopping by today. I have kind of a TBR video for you, um, which is really a Around the Big Book Summer Challenge. If you're not familiar with the Big Book Summer Challenge, it is an event that is hosted by Sue Jackson. She runs the Book by Book blog and she has hosted this event for 10 years years. I will leave her channel and her announcement video linked in the description below for you so you can go and check out her announcement. But basically the rules are very simple. You just have to read a book over 400 pages. And so I have a number of books stacked up, of course. I mean, it wouldn't be my kind of video if I didn't have a big stack of big books for you. Uh, so I do have a number of books that fit this really, really well. I did participate last year. I'm really excited to participate again in it this year. So I, like I said, I'll leave Sue's channel link down in the description below for you. She and I share a love of the outdoors. So I love it when she takes her camera outside with her because those are the types of things I also really, really like to do. But what do I have coming up that is over 400 pages? Well, the first thing, First and foremost, I have to finish The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann. I am over halfway done, uh, but I'm not quite there yet. It was over 700 pages and it is dense. I had to take it back to the library uh, and someone had a hold on it. So it wouldn't let me check it out again. So I can't hold it up for you. But The Magic Mountain, I will get that finished. I am listening to it though, not reading it. Uh, but yeah, I will finish that book very soon. So the one book I have already talked about was in my June TBR, which is The Once and Future King by T.H. White. This one is a death I'm reading this in June with Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia. Uh, so I know that this one is. And how many pages is this, do you ask? 639. So it definitely qualifies for the Big Book Summer Challenge. Uh, the next book, okay. <laughs> The next book is the biggest book that I have on my TBR for 2022. And I read War and Peace this year. So that just tells you how big this book is. Um, uh, yeah, this is the one I'm worried about, but I really, really want to get it off of the 1001 list. Uh, and I've heard, you know, good things about it for the most part. Um, what is this monster book? A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth. I mean, okay, that's... That's a huge book. Uh, I have it slated on my TBR in August. This is 1,474 pages. I mean, why why would I do this to myself? I actually have an exceptionally light TBR in August, and basically it includes two other books other than this one. And that's all I have in August. I did not put another book on it in August because I knew this one was coming up. So I think this one alone uh, is enough for the big book uh, summer challenge. Oh my goodness. So yeah, if you've read this, let me know what you thought of it. Um, kind of what's in a what's a reasonable time frame to try and read this book because I I don't know I is it one that's going to pull me in and is it just going to make me want to not stop reading it I don't know maybe so a suitable boy by Vikram Seth that's my next one and then the last not the last one that's on my official TBR for this summer I, yes I did plan my TBR out uh, for the books that are on the 2022 list of the countdown because I had to try and figure out a way to fit these all in. So this one is scheduled for July. And this one, if I look at this copy of it, it is 466 pages, but Goodreads had it at over 500 for some reason. You can't believe Goodreads. So the book is The Robber Bar... Bar the Robber Bride by Margaret Atwood. So this one, I uh, love, again, these covers. I've shown them a couple times. This will be my second one that I've read from this version. This one's scheduled for July. This back of this book says, the story of Xenia ought to begin where Xenia began. It must have been someplace long ago and distant in space, thinks Tony. Someplace bruised and very tangled. But the robber bride. Uh, I'm just reading this one by myself. No buddy read or anything. Yeah, this is uh, the robber bride by Margaret Atwood. I said that because my friend Sonia read um, the blind assassin by Margaret Atwood with me. But this one, I don't have a current buddy read scheduled. 
All right, so those are my official ones. My unofficial ones, what else do I have on the list this year uh, that qualif would qualify for this? So I have the um, Brothers Karam Karamazov. Yeah, I can't speak. Um, by Dostoevsky. Again, I know I'm not saying that right. Uh, that one's not till December. It's for my book club. And then the other book that I have that meets the page count is this one. Oh, Kristen Lavran's Statter by Sigrid Unstedt. So this one, there's three books apparently in this one, and this one contains all three. Um, and this book is how many? How many pages? Oh my, okay, well, it's much bigger than what I have it in the thing. Anyway, it's 1124 pages. I do love this cover though. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. This is actually, like I said, the three books all in one. Um, so ideally what I would do, so it's the read, the Reef, The Wife, and The Cross are the three books. And so I would love to get this one finished. I actually don't have this one scheduled till September, but if you watch my June TBR, Lonesome Dove, which would also qualify, we're moving to September, officially moving it to September. So ideally I would get this one read before then. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it kind of depends on how The Once and Future King goes. If I can maybe pick up a book a month this summer, that would get me through this book. So that is the next one. I've heard excellent, excellent things about this book um, or that people really do like it. It would be my first uh, foray into this author. So I don't know, has she written anything else? I'll have to look, but that is the next one. And then the last one is the book that the uh, Humors Book Club is reading uh, starting in May. I haven't started it, and that is The Good Soldier. And I'm not going to try and say the last name or the name of the author, because last time my husband said, I said it wrong. I know. I know I said it wrong. I still don't know how to say it, so I'm just not going to say it. So this one would be a great one to add in. It's actually not on my 2022 TBR. It got added later. So this one is, again, another chunky book. So this is the one that's going to get probably moved um, off at fastest and it's 752 pages but there are a number of you know illustrations in it and stuff which you know in theory would make it feel shorter right so that would be the other one but I'm gonna put that one aside because I don't know that I'm ever gonna be able to do that one so the books that I have okay we're gonna try it we'll see okay so we have the robber bride we have this is what happens when your camera is all messed up. Okay, Kristen Lavance Dadder. We have, oh, okay, A Suitable Boy. And we have The Once and Future King. Okay, this is actually really, really heavy. So this would be my official, including the Magic Mountain finishing it, but this would be my official big book summer challenge. I could lift weights with this. This is very heavy. Uh, wish me luck. Only one of these is a buddy read, unless Bob the Booker, if you're out there watching, listening, are you reading The Suitable Boy with me? A Suitable Boy with me? Because I know we had mentioned it, but I don't know if we're reading it together. So if you're watching this, let me know. <laughs> but that is my big book summer challenge. I'm going to put this down now before it falls. Okie dokie. <laughs> what are you reading for the big book summer challenge? Do you have any big books coming up? Is this something you want? Um, yeah. Do you have any big books uh, coming up? Uh, have you read any of the ones that are on my big book summer challenge? Let me know in the comments down below. Go check out Sue Jackson. Let me know what you think. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone. Thanks. Bye.